r slash ask reddit who do you want to see as 47th president of the united states senator armstrong not biden or trump that's for sure that nice lady at the store that called me sugar yesterday someone who doesn't look like they just escaped the retirement home maybe a weed person instead of a coke person Someone who raises all of their campaign funding through small dollar donations, not PACs. Someone not born during the leaded gas era. Someone who isn't a senile old man. Someone who doesn't come from a political family, dynasty. My dog. He's a good boy I swear. Here is his official advertisement. HTTPS www.reddit.com slash user slash genderfluid underscore cookies slash comments slash valleyfxc slash remember underscore for underscore the underscore next underscore us underscore presidential underscore elect. Tion underscore two. UTM underscore source equals share and UTM underscore medium equals iOS underscore app and UTM underscore name equals iOS SMF. He's promoting my sister's college BC she goes to U of A. He's already prepping his wardrobe for the election. HTTPS www.reddit.com slash user slash genderfluid underscore cookies slash comments slash valleys two slash future underscore president underscore in underscore his underscore suit underscore making underscore sure underscore n o underscore one UTM underscore source equals share and UTM underscore medium equals iOS underscore app and UTM underscore name equals iOS SMF. Considered voting for Kong, but Kodos is the man for the job. John Fetterman. If he ran it would absolutely crush the GOP. The Democrats would win back working class whites in the Midwest. Someone that's not a fucking 100 years old. These answers give me no hope for the future. Most of the answers are either jokes. Or they're just naming off qualities they think would make a good president. Zaphod Beeblebrox. I would nominate my wife. She cares so much for the people around her. Everyone in the neighborhood loves her. And she's modest to a fault. She's also an incurable workaholic. Just what you'd need for that kind of position. I'm not worried about experience. Because I know the president is surrounded in a sea of advisors and experts. I trust her to make level-headed decisions. And own up to them as well. Rachel for President 2024 Edit. I'd ask her to only run for one term because presidency is a busy job. And I'd want her back. That said. I think the people would beg her for a second term. Yes. I am that confident in my own wife. John Fetterman's gearing up for a presidential run. And I'm all for it. Probably won't be in 2024. Though. Though. Katie Porter. Someone under the age of 65. I'm a boomer and even I think it's stupid that we keep choosing candidates that are in their 80s. Congresswoman Katie Porter. Hands down. Extremely competent. Bruce Campbell. The least corruptible individual we can find. Just someone that isn't a fucking joke, haven't we had enough of that? The worst part of this is I can't even think of someone to name as a joke. In all seriousness, John Fetterman. Katie Porter. LRRR, from the planet Omicron per se 8. No one is more qualified than the doctor, pilot, and astronaut, Johnny Sins. Can we have a leap presidency? Like just have nobody for a bit? Maybe we should just work on ourselves before we get into a relationship with another stupid president. Update. Yes this is sarcasm. Hahas are welcomed. Thanks for the votes and awards. Someone whose last name is not Clinton, Bush, Trump or Obama, or any relative of a former president. Deep fake of Teddy Roosevelt with all the animations from the Civ games. As a European, I'm grabbing the popcorn and sorting by controversial. Subscribe for more content.